that's an interesting um, handle there. So earlier, hey Catherine, never, never, never give up, right? So earlier we were talking about um, the surrender oil. Thanks for the hearts. <laughs> my husband was out here making me nervous. Um, so my hair is all wet because I lost power earlier. I was talking about surrender, this oil from Young Living, and the importance of balancing uh, your will versus higher will. And a storm came. I knew a storm was coming. You can still probably hear the thunder there. So, I'm talking about surrender and following higher will as opposed to what you have planned for your own day. And the thunderstorm knocks me out in my broadcast. So, perfect example of, and I still tried to keep going, but then we lost power and so I literally had to stop. And so that's a perfect example of what I'm talking about with spiritual surrender. You set your plans, and it looks like maybe this is the signal bouncing again. Whoops. I'm just going to keep going, and I guess you guys can... Oh, it's you. Okay. So um, you guys can watch the replay, too. Um, you must still be in Texas if your signal's coming in and out. So anyway perfect example of spiritual surrender I made my plan to do Periscope and I was determined to do it and yeah Texas and the rainstorm came and uh, so Mother Nature, God, Spirit whatever is like well you're not going to do a Periscope right now you're going to do um, enjoy the rainstorm so my hair is all wet because I was frustrated even though it's funny, it's also frustrating when you make plans and um, circumstances around you change them. So as I've said before, when you're shifting your mood, you take your hit. You, your plans change and if you have your normal human response to that of frustration or anger or sadness or, or whatever it is when your plans change. It's normal. It's still raining. Um, so you take your hit, but you don't stay there. So I took my hit of frustration of, ah, this Periscope thing, ah, the app, ah, my unreliable internet signal, and now a thunderstorm. So you accept that. You accept your hit. That's Juniper Hoot in the background here. You take your hit, and you don't fight that. And just like a baby gets upset, and then five minutes later it's over, we can do the same thing. I get upset when my Periscope plans don't work out. I get upset when any kind of plan I make um, doesn't work out. So, But I just let it go. I let myself be upset. I don't fight that. The more I fight the upset, um, the bigger it gets. So surrendering is part of that. You surrender to the flow of life. You surrender to making your plans and then rolling with whatever happens. Because we have our limited human mind, which doesn't see the big picture. Spirit sees the big picture. We don't. So we do the best we can. Okay, We meditate. We try and stay grounded. We pray or whatever. And then we understand that the best laid plans of mice and men. You know, we do what we can do, ultimately surrendering to whatever happens and flowing with those changes. If you fight them, just like... The stream out here is almost out of its banks. And if I want to fight that stream and try to dam the flow, i got a big mess on my hands. Same thing with life. You fight the stream of life, then the water just rises, and you end up with a big mess on your hands. Where if you just let it go, change accordingly, and when you're encountering resistance, stop. Some resistance means go forward, fight your way through, and learn from that. Other resistance means to stop and listen, another plan may be in place. So there's a fine line. I find that the surrender oil helps me. And it could be the oil, I believe it is, part of it. But part of it also is my intention of, I'm going to set out on this road trip of, I'm going to set on a little road trip, literal road trip, or a road trip of my life, and I'm going to encounter detours and flat tires and, you know, 
broken fan belts and blown engines. Things are going to happen, and I'm going to roll with it, and then I'm going to get back on the road. So what I did when my periscope got blown a few minutes ago is I, I got mad, and I got frustrated. I wouldn't say mad. I got frustrated. I've had a lot of problems with periscope, but I really like it, so I don't want to give up. So I thought, you know what, okay, fine. It's raining. I have to stop. I have no power. Not it, not even no internet signal, no power to the house at all. So I just went out in the rain. And I just stood there. And I just surrendered to the moment. And as soon as I, you know, let my emotions roll on through, don't fight the emotions, just let them roll on through, let the rain literally wash them away, and I felt better. And then I was like, okay. It's not going to happen the way I want it to happen today. It's going to happen the way you want it to happen. So in a way, I'm kind of glad that happened because it gave me a perfect example to demonstrate, really demonstrate to you myself how to roll with it, how to surrender to the moment. So we go stand in the rain. Husband looks at me like I'm crazy probably. <laughs> I just stood there and just got soaked. And after a few seconds, I was happy. I felt good. I mean, it feels good to stand in the rain. And it's not cold. It's in Georgia, so it's cold when it first hits your skin, but then it's not freezing cold like um, Colorado. It's really good for your hair. <laughs> and I totally just, like, flipped my hair over, washed my hair, took a shower in the rain, and enjoyed it. Walked around, walked down to the stream. The rain's coming again, so I may lose power again. We're in the North Georgia mountains, and so um, uh, high-speed internet is not possible. And uh, we don't have satellite. We have DSL. We do the best we can. So I walked barefoot in the rain out to the stream, and it's way high, and, you know, checked things out and just enjoyed myself. And it, a little hummingbird came by when I was down there in the stream. I don't know why it was flying out in the rain, so maybe a crazy hummingbird. Anyway, surrender. That's the topic for this week. And that's how you shift a mood. When you're in a mood that you don't like and you recognize it and you're like, I don't want to feel this way. I don't want to feel like this. I don't want to feel angry and frustrated. Then let your anger and frustration have its moment or your sadness. Have your cry. Do you see yourself, buddy? Have your cry. Let your emotions flow on through and you will naturally come back to center. It's not even something that you have to do. Like... Step one, I'm going to cry. Step two, I'm going to come back to center. Step three, I'm going to pick up where I left off. It just happens. When you're not fighting your emotions, when you're letting the rain or the water, here's Tonka, when you're letting it just flow on through, you naturally come back to center. You naturally come back to where you want to be, and you will naturally feel good. So just allowing that process. And that's uh, Monday's mood scope tip. And I have a cat about to make a jump for the... Oh, he's okay. Okay. Thanks for sticking it out all, all these weeks of my technological periscope problems. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in every Monday. And um, look at your own life and see where you need to surrender. And thy will, not my will be done is a good way to focus on life and roll with it. All right. Thanks, guys. Goodbye, kitty. Bye, kitty. <laughs> Whoops. I'm going to actually have a close-up of him before I close it off. Hey. Hey, Lucy. Can you see the hearts here, buddy? It's not a snack, so he's not really interested in it. All right, have a great day. Oh, here's this one going at it. Talk of the naughty one. <laughs> and there's the garden and the rain's coming back again. So I'll go ahead and sign off. And there's the thunder. <laughs> hey, buddy. We have a few minutes, a few seconds of the rainstorm before we lose power, I'm sure. And this is our other one. I don't know why they hang out when I broadcast, but they do. Tonka. All right, thanks for listening. Live viewers and replay viewers, thanks for being here with me. Have a great day. <laughs>